What can people do in a practical way uh, to help law enforcement, to help uh, deal with these situations and, and support you guys as you're trying to bring security and the role of law back into play and deal with this two-tiered justice system that we see is wrecking our country? Yeah, I think one of the, the biggest things is I think there are people who are called to be protectors for such a time as this, and they're not uh, following their calling, right? It, it, it says in the gist of it, you know, the, the kingdom of God, you have to, you may choose to participate, right? It's not a guarantee. You decide, right. you know, how much you want to participate in. And even like the story of uh, with Esther, God gave her the choice. She's like, you can do this. And if you don't, you'll perish with your people, but I'm going to have someone else do it. Right. So this good. is right you know and so um that's where I, calling for people to stand up for that you know we are called it's been a calling on on my life is for such a time as this to be there to help protect people i am a protector by nature god has designed me that way yes. and people need to step up and also know that law enforcement isn't your only solution even like local sheriffs and things like that they're a politically elected officials so you can have a Democrat or Republican, you know, or independent or Green Party, you know, fill in the gap. So um, that that's an important thing to look at. So private security is a good option, you know, especially in areas where the defund the police is because uh, we're not drawn away because of politics. We're bound by contract to protect you and your property and your people and your clients. And that's our sole purpose. And, you know, and those are, you know, ways that, you know, you can expand, protect yourself, but uh, participate, go out there and engage the community, especially with law enforcement. You can do it by voting for candidates who support law enforcement. Law enforcement is not evil. Right. All cops are not bad. Right. You know, and, and, you know, and this is the they're 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 definitely trying to muzzle the lion, you know, and, and you know, to take away the tools from those who are sent to bring justice mm -hmm. and bring people to the justice system. Right. So I would definitely say that and, you know, participate, be um, in your community, in your government, uh, not just voting, but take on these roles in schools and in churches, you know, um, look for uh, things that you can fund you know, nonprofit groups that provide protection for churches or or school districts, things like that, or, or participate in security program, learn the details and, you know, be a good student of history and of the Bible and understand that these these things are coming, right? We know that we see these things. It's not a mystery to us, but we still have a, you know, we should still have a responsibility. That's the word yeah. to look for. Yeah. To, uh, you Occupy. know, continue to do the good work. <laughs> Yeah, occupy and, you know, take ground for the kingdom. And and Pastor Jen, I know you uh, preach this as well, is we're to take ground for the kingdom. Yes. And the enemy is going to contend for that ground. But we know we have the victory. But nonetheless, we have to fight and we have to seek the strategy that God gives us to pursue that battle. Yes. So we have to do it, you know, right. and, and just people, I, I think too many people now, they're afraid to take on a fight, right? Because they're like, if I do this, this is what happens. Well, yeah, and so what? <laughs> right, and if enough of us rise up, at some point you break through.